welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Stacy. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning bestie, what's popping? Thank you so much for always stopping by. Thank you for supporting me. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Would love to have you join the Stunner Gang. Make sure you give this video a nice big thumbs up and interact with me in the comment section. So, guys, with today's topic, we will be discussing seven things we're gonna leave in 2022. We're at the end of the year, and you know, everyone is looking forward to the new year that's coming up, and we're thinking about our new year resolutions, goals we want to achieve and you know things that we want to do things that you know we want to stop doing and so i round up a list of things that i'm going to be leaving in 2022 so i thought it fit to share it with all of you guys so if you would like to see my seven things please keep watching hey guys so this is in no particular order we're not gonna waste time we're gonna get right into the video and if you see me looking down i do have you know my notes here so that i can stay on track okay so guys the first thing we're gonna not carry into 2022 is self-doubt and settling and i choose to put these two together because they're kind of the same thing self-doubt stop doubting yourself God created you with something special inside of you. There's something special in all of us. So there's no need for you to doubt yourself. You know, sometimes, you know, you say you compliment someone and you're just like, you know, you're really good at that. And you're just like, oh, no, I'm OK. Or, you know, I'm not that good. Stuff like that. That's not good. We're going to cut that out in 2023. We're not carrying it forward. We're going to have confidence in ourselves. We're going to go forward with faith and trust that God is going to equip us with everything that we need. So stop self-doubting and stop settling for less life is short and you deserve everything honestly no matter what you believe no matter what people say there's something special inside you you do not need to settle if something isn't making you happy get rid of it because as you guys can see the years are flying by and i don't know as every year come to an end i'm just like oh my god girl like you're one year older like what are you doing so we're not going to doubt ourselves in 2023 and we're not going to be settling for anything but the best. Period. Hey guys, so thing number two is we're going to stop living to please people. Okay, this is a big one and we're all guilty of this one and it's okay. But going forward, we're going to stop living to please people. And I'm going to reiterate this. Life is short. If it does not make you happy, do not do it. These people are not paying your bills. Stop focusing on what other people are going to think. Especially, I would use this as an example. If you want to start a business, okay, don't be scared of what people are going to think of you. Go all in and be yourself. Be yourself. Be who you are. Stop hiding your uniqueness. God imparted something special in you. And so if it's on your heart to do, go forward brave. Go forward in faith. Do what you got to do. Stop living your life to please people. You know, back home, people always say, you know, you do good, they're going to talk. You do bad, they're going to talk. So whatever decision you make, honey, make sure that you are comfortable first. If it doesn't make your kids uncomfortable and the ones that you hold dear to your dear to your heart, because, you know, sometimes there's certain people would sacrifice our comfort for because they just mean so much to us. But people on the, on like on social media, people who don't pay your bills, people who you don't even know, why are you trying to impress them? Live your life to make you feel comfortable, not others. Remember that your comfort comes first. Okay, guys, so the third thing we're not going to do anymore and we're not going to carry forward in 2023 is comparing ourselves to others, especially people on social media. Comparison is the killer of joy. Stop comparing yourself to people online. You know, I heard someone say something the other day, and it's really true. They said, don't let social media make you rush your life. So you see your friends, them getting married. They're having kids. There's this, they're that. You don't know their process. You don't know what they've been through and vice versa. So stop comparing yourself. There's no comparison. You're unique. We're all unique. We don't have the same fingerprint. We're all unique. Do not compare yourself. I mean, again, like I said, it's easy for us to compare ourselves because, I mean, social media is like at the tip of our finger. You go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, you scroll to scroll. You might be having a bad day. And then you go on there and you see something like looking nice. You see someone, you know, have an achievement, you know, or whatever the case is. And it just makes you feel so much worse. So please just learn to look at people's life be happy for them and just know that your blessing will not miss you okay stop comparing yourself to other people okay guys so the fourth thing is we're not gonna carry confusion into the new year okay confusion the bible say that the devil is the author of confusion god is not 
why are we living and what are, why are we living confused this is something that i had to even sit down and like really you know have a conversation and in a conversation with myself on confusion why are we living in confusion if you're in a relationship and you don't know where you stand with someone cut them off it's time to cut them off because if it's confused if you're confused about it it's not from god period if you're at a job and you don't know you know you're, you're feeling like you don't know your place there get a new job life is short cut it off friendship whatever it is if you're confused you're in the wrong place you're in the wrong position cut it off get rid of it be done with it period thing number five is we're not forcing any friendship in 2023 i always believe that the people that are for me are the ones who are gonna stick and make an impression if i have to force you to go out i have to be the first one calling you I have to be the one to reach out to you you know that is no we're not doing that in 2023 we're gonna be investing in people who invest in us who reciprocate it because regardless of what even if it's a friendship it's still a relationship it's a two-way street you're not going to be given more than you're getting. I'm sorry. In certain cases, that's okay. But for friendship, I'm sorry. Like, if you're not building me up, if you're not adding to my growth, if I can't grow from being around you, if you notice that you're in a friend circle or you're with someone and you're not growing, they're not adding to your life positively, it's always give, 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 and it's always like one negative scenario after the next it's time to pack up and leave. It's time to love them from afar. I'm not saying be their enemy, but just be done with them and just let it go on to the next. And that's it, right? Because the ones who was for you, again, they are going to be for you fully. And you're going to know. If it feels negative, again, if you're confused about it, let it go. And especially for friends, I'm sorry. I feel like as I get older and older, my friend circle gets smaller and smaller. And that's completely fine because I... I'm not the type to have like a bag of friends. So, and like, I just want a very selective few who are good quality friends. Um, and that does it for me, honestly. Guys, so thing number six is not being yourself. Going forward, we're gonna, we're gonna stop trying to be like other people, act like them, look like them, and all of these different things. Because again, I, like I said, we're all unique. We're all unique. We have our own personalities. And to be honest with you, I feel like people fall in love with you even more when you're yourself, when you're unique, when you're different. Like, why do I want to be like someone else? Why? Like, that's me doubting God's creation. That's me doubting what God put inside me. So we're going to stop trying to be like other people. I mean, it's sometimes it's easier to just act like, you know, what the world say that we should act like. But no, no, my friend, we're not going to get very far by trying to be uh, someone else. And it's so expensive to be someone else. It's so expensive to be someone else. It's like you have to keep up this facade. But when you be yourself, when you accept yourself, it's the easiest and most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. And I'll give you an example for me. Because now I live in Canada, right? I'm Caribbean. So I speak Patwa, right? But I came here when I was like 16. So I went through the high school system and then I work professionally. So I'm forced to speak like you know properly like proper english not patois because sometimes when i speak patois like no people would be like you're speaking too fast can you slow down i don't understand you so i try to force myself to speak proper but then i realize when i'm sp trying to speak proper sometimes i i i bite my tongue and i'm just like yo this does not do it for me so i've decided you know what to embrace my accent more and to just let loose and just be who i am and Trust me, it feels so, so good. And we're all going to go on this journey together of being ourselves. And there's so many other things that I see, but that's just one example for me. Um, be in yourself. Be in yourself. Be who you are. It's so much fun. And it's it's definitely what God wants. God did not want us all to be the same because if he did want us all to be the same, look the same, walk the same, talk the same, he could have just made one person and make like 8 billion of that one person. So... <laughs> We're all going to be yourself going forward and embracing our flaws and all. The thing number seven, which is my last point, is waiting for perfection. Guys, you're never going to be perfect, okay? God is perfection and we're on our way to perfection. But until God comes for you all, we're not perfect. We're not going to wait for the perfect time. The perfect time is now because tomorrow is not promised. Start now. Start that business now. 
have that baby now if you want to get married now go back to school now now is the time because if you wait for perfection i promise you you would not start you would not start okay they say um starting okay something and it's not perfect is better than waiting for perfection and staying at a stagnant position we're not doing that we're not waiting for perfection we're gonna go move forward with faith and trust that god is gonna give us everything that we need on our journey so guys if you made it to the end of the video i love you guys so much thank you so much for always rocking with your girl thank you for your support like this year has definitely been a roller, co roller coaster for me blah i've learned so much and yeah and i'm so excited for 2023 and i'm definitely excited to see what's in store for all of us don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up subscribe to the channel would love to have you and i will catch you in my next video bye